I am so ready to have my own place. <laughs> Today is just one of those days where I'm like, Lord, I can't. I'm just like, my whole like demeanor all day has just been, uh, I'm not depressed. I'm just not, um, what's the opposite of depressed? I'm not, a, you know, I'm trying to use the press word. Anyway, whatever. I'm not happy. I'm kind of aggravated by there's some petty old women that I'm living with in my transitional housing right now. And you know, at one point in life, they were a blessing to me, but now the devil is all in them and they are just really getting on my nerves. I just get so disappointed when I meet foolish women. It's, and they're black. That's embarrassing. Why sit in a kitchen and have a conversation and talk about people, talk about people's shape when you shape like a watermelon? You like have no shape, but you're gonna pick my roommates very shapely. So you're gonna pick at her. So she coming and they talking about me and I'm just like, oh my God, just let it go. You know, but I'm like, you too old. Like you too old to be, <laughs> you are too old to be acting like that. And sometimes the fire starts to turn up when God is getting ready to push you into your blessing so that they can see. So it's important that I keep my composure because I will speak my mind and I was just in the kitchen, right? <clears throat> My spirit was like, Kimberly, just leave. But my flesh was like, please. If you bold enough to do that, I'm bold enough to sit in your face and watch. Like, I'll look at somebody. Like, I, I wish you would. I wish you would talk about me while I'm sitting here. I will jump up and throw. Oh, my gosh. I am so ready to leave and move from the place where I am. And so, I think I was telling y'all before that the Lord had placed upon my heart to look for where I wanted to live and just to believe him for it. But I'm tired, I don't want to do that no more. I'm like, Lord, I'm just ready to move. Like, why is it taking forever? And I'm just getting tired of the, the people here at, you know, where I live. Like, my roommate, she's cool, she's cool. But I'm getting tired of, like, the other people that I live with just being messy and mean and vindictive and... I'm just like, oh my gosh. So today I had a mini nervous breakdown. And I was driving, I had to call my sister. Um, I'm so glad I got a sister. And she really is my big sister, like for real in real life. Even though she's told me that I've inspired her <laughs> and she looks up to me, she's still my big sister. And whenever I cry or I'm going through, I'd be like, <laughs> Keisha, like all the time. I get this call from my sister and she's just like crying and just like really upset and like Keisha can you talk and I'm just kind of like no actually I this is not really a good time but because she was so distressed I was like hold on she was just really like in a space of not knowing what to do not sure where she wanted to be and just really trying to trust God but just at a really heavy place and I was kind of like look you can do what you want to do and I just remember listening to her cry and I was just wanting to just be there and comfort her and she's all the way in California and I'm all the way in Atlanta but we're always there for one another and we're always at a space where we can pray. I'm just grateful for her being in my life. I, I know that people say oh y'all are like twins but I just think it's how God made us to be. We are similar in spirit. It is August the 14th and um, I am on my way to an interview with Teamsters Local 399. It's been pretty eventful. I've fallen out with people. One lady in particular, I had a big argument with her yesterday afternoon and I did not back down. I was like, it, sometimes you just, I, I couldn't turn the other cheek. I was just like, God, I'm about to get her. <laughs> and so, you know, I just went off and I'm just like, you know, she called me all kind of crazy names and I was just like, honey, I'm a woman of God. In that moment, I just knew that was the enemy behind her and I just felt so like powerful, like you don't even move me at all. I'm still looking for a place. I'm supposed to go see a place this evening at five. So after my interview, depending on where I am, I'll probably go get something to eat and then I'll head down and go see that house at five o'clock. This is cool. And, um, the okay. 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 Okay.
just has a lot of storage. <sighs> I'm having a lot of these moments lately and I'm just over it. I heard from the housing assistance people. They basically told me that I couldn't move into the place because they're running into the issue as far as my income doesn't meet what they need as far as what I need to make every month. Um, I need to make three times as much as the rent. So I don't make that. Now I'm just like, God, I will go back to Atlanta. Hey, so I'm about to go see this apartment. It's in Los Angeles. It's in an area called Koreatown. Um, so I have a one o'clock appointment. I'm probably be leaving here in about, uh oh, maybe like 20 minutes or so. Um, no, 10 minutes. I did not like the place. Um, it was not like totally bad, but I had to walk up two flights of stairs, two flights of very long stairs. Like, and I've been working out, so excuse me, stuff don't really make me like, you know, too much. By the time I got to the second floor and we're walking down the hall, I was like, oh my God. Like, and I'm not carrying nothing. So imagine me having to carry groceries up the stairs, having to, you know, move my furniture. I was like, no. I interviewed about a month ago with a um, film union and it was kind of like speed dating. So they did like really quick interviews and they just wanted to see who they wanted to select. And they said it's really hard getting a film union. And so we were working with this organization called USZ. They were the liaison between us and the film union. The US Vets representative kept coming back to us, letting us know every week, hey, and we'll let you know who was chosen and who was not, and we'll tell you why you weren't chosen, blah, blah, blah. And I told my friend last night, if they don't choose to interview me, I'm gonna go back to Atlanta. If they do, then of course I know I'm gonna stay my butt right here and just figure out where I'm gonna live. <laughs> and praise God, they chose me. So I'm sitting here eating my stresses away. I'm eating cheesecake which I've ate the whole thing over a course of three days, and a grilled cheese. <laughs> mm. I'm seriously trying everything in my power to move, but I guess, um, I don't know. I've got some news that I don't necessarily want, which is, um, the only place that is the easiest for me to go right now is another shelter. I'm kind of going to be in another community environment like I was when I was on Skid Row with those type of people again. So it's like I'm going backwards and I've been praying since I've been here. God, let me go forward. God, don't, you know, keep me here. I personally don't have peace about going to this shelter. You know, I got a job, everything is just kind of sort of trying to line up and I'm trying to stay here. I'm trying to stay here in California. I don't want to be here, but I'm trying, I'm trying to stay here. I'm trying my best. I can get in my car and I can go back to Atlanta. Lord, send somebody to just give me a word confirming that me going to this other shelter is your will. So I'm in the computer lab and I'm looking at places or whatever. And so one of the staff members walking in, she was like, so Kim, you going, you know, to the shelter? I was like, yeah. She's like, how do you feel about that? And it's like, I don't even want to have a conversation with people about it. It's like, what do you mean how I feel about it? Who wants to go to another shelter? And so she was like, you know, God knows what he's doing. Just trust, he's gonna lead you right where you need to be. I hate that. I got that stanking word after my stanking prayer. <laughs> nothing that I can really do but um suffer I just don't like God right now y'all ever not like God I don't like him right now like I love you but I don't like you right now I don't like the path and the direction in which you're leading me I just I don't like it so this morning I got up and I was still feeling really unsettled in my spirit and I pray and I cry y'all what I said in my prayer was show me that you're real show me that you are real and you really care about how i feel god one of the staff members here had given me a number to other transitional organizations homes 
that house veterans. And so I called her and she said they had a bed left. So she invited me to come over to see the house and to interview me and I'm in. God is so good, you know, and it makes me often self-reflect to see how wretched we can be as human beings when things seem like they're not going in the way that, you know, he would have for them to do. God has really come through.